Morning folks, Todd from Walnut Ridge again, uh, Friday morning here. Uh, gonna touch on a couple items. Uh, I know the other week I talked about maintenance and that. This is a, a good example. Uh, we're in process on a wheel bearing uh, repack on this unit. Uh, I do have the fridge uh, cover off of this unit. I uh, wanted to go, go over a couple things. So we are going to be cleaning out uh, burner tube assembly. See, there's a lot of cobwebs in that. We're going to clean all this out to ensure that this uh, refrigerator is working the way it should be, continues to work the way it should be. But a lot of these new units are coming with, you know, solar 12 volt refrigerators. This one here is a is a old school. I call it gas and electric. Uh, this one has, so they have the condensation drain here, so it will run out and it goes goes through the little, you fit it through anywhere through here, it will drain out. On these 12 volt refrigerators, there is, there isn't. So when, when things unplug or you don't have the, some of the 12 volt refrigerators, you can turn off. Some of them you cannot, so if you don't have power coming from your battery or plugged in and your freezer fridge falls out, you get, get all that water in there and then say, and you don't wipe it out, you decide to pull it around with that, you can have, you, got, you just need to remember, you will have all that water in there on these 12 volts, unlike the traditional gas and electric ones. So we have seen that where, you know, water has gotten out through the freezer fridge door and ran down and damaged some wood molding. So I just wanted to touch base with that. Just make sure once, when you're done using your 12 volt refrigerator and it falls out and that, if you do not have uh, power going to that, just once it, defrost and that, get in there with a towel, wipe that out, and then kind of leave your doors kind of propped open, just like on the, the traditional style, the old school uh, RV refrigerators. Um, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys have a good Friday and a good weekend. Thank you.